Hi, I'm Jilly from Baby Sleep Made Simple. The video you are about to watch is me answering a question sent in by a tired mom on our Facebook Live Q&A call. I hope you enjoy it. It's a good idea to make sure that all of your baby's feeds are supervised. So we just want to make sure that your baby, you know, your baby's too young to really eat. Um, on her own and all of her feeds do need to be supervised. We just need to make sure that she's okay, that she's safe. Um, so I would say not to leave a bottle in the baby's bed, even if she's old enough to kind of get it on her own in the middle of the night. Um, I don't think it's a good idea. We just, we always want to supervise all of your baby's feeds. Also, um, you know, medical professionals say that when babies go to sleep, either with bottles in the bed or falling asleep on the bottle, that it can contribute to getting um, dental cavities, both when they're young and also when they're older. It's really not good for their for their teeth as well um, when they fall asleep and when they have kind of a bottle to drink from all night long. What you could do is you could have a sippy cup of water, not in her bed, but I could have it in her room so that if she wakes up in the night and you need to go to her, that you give her a sippy cup of water, maybe she's thirsty, just to kind of, you know, quench her thirst. Uh, but again, that needs to be supervised. I'm not sure if your baby takes a pacifier, but at nine months old, the majority of babies um, have a pincer grasp. So they're able to grasp something between their thumb and their forefinger. So what a lot of parents do if their baby takes a pacifier is they just sprinkle a few pacifiers around the crib, five or six or so, around the perimeter of the crib um, after the baby falls asleep at bedtime. So when she rolls around in the night, if she's just a little bit unsettled and she just kind of needs to suck on something, she finds a pacifier and she puts it in her mouth by herself.